So in this past episode of Total Divas, we saw Naomi and John, aka Jimmy Uso. We saw those guys' relationships, you know, hit a little rock, but ultimately it was solved. I'll get more into that a little bit later on. Uh, first, I'll get to some of the other things. As of course you know, the Bella Twins are featured on Total Divas and their relationships with Daniel Bryan and John Cena, respectively, of course. And, uh, you know, these guys will be facing off at SummerSlam coming up in a couple weeks. I'm looking forward to that match, by the way. But uh, back to the show. Uh, man, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. I'm, I'm liking the show. Uh, I really feel it. It's, it's really entertaining to watch, you know, to, to get an inside look at that, you know, the backstage aspect of, you know, what's going on in real, you know, behind the scenes of, of the WWE and, and the Divas, too. You know, and I really like what the Total Divas is doing for the Divas because, personally, I think the Divas division has been lacking a lot over the last few years, you know, since, you know, pretty much since, you know, the Attitude Era. I think it's good. Any kind of attention you can bring to the Divas division, I think it's a good thing. Uh, I'm liking what they're doing on NXT. If you guys don't watch that, make sure you, you, if you, you know, look it up, look on Hulu and watch an episode of NXT and see what they're doing with the Divas over there. They got a, a young diva named Paige coming up. She's she's really talented. There's a lot of there's a lot of divas on NXT right now that's really talented. I like Emma and I like Paige and I like a lot of the other ones. And Summer Rae, what she's doing with Fandango and stuff like that. You know, I'm happy for her too, even though I wasn't the biggest fan originally. But the Total Divas show, uh, to me, I think that show. That show is a good opportunity for the divas, you know, to spotlight them, to give them more TV time, more camera time, more action, more in ring time, you know. So I'm I'm really excited that the WWE is now trying to attempt to focus on the divas. So in this past episode of Total Divas, we also got to see the relationship between John and Trinity, aka Naomi, other Funkadactyls, and Jimmy Uso of the Uso Brothers. To me, the most interesting part was the the, the interaction between them in the ring. They, they had an argument on the show about getting married and taking their relationship to the next level. Basically, Naomi has a career to think about, so that's what she's trying to focus on right now. She's still young. She's only 25. So that's one of the things that kind of brought upon that argument between those two. John's trying to get Naomi to show him that she's as, as invested in their relationship as he is. And, uh, you know, he wants her to just to take one step. And the step he wants her to take is to at least set a date for them to, to get married. So one of the problems on the show was that Naomi wasn't wearing a ring. John, you know, came in the house and he, he seen her not wearing a ring. So, you know, that kind of started the whole situation. And to me, like I said, the, the most interesting part about the whole situation was to, to see those guys in the ring interact. And, you know, like how, how noticeable it was that, you know, it was some tension between the two. And, you know, and that's one of the reasons I really like this show. And, I, and I'm really interested to see where it goes from here. I'm looking forward to the next episode. I think Natalia you know, for a long time hasn't been featured right, you know, like hasn't been, you know, showcased to the best of her abilities, of, you know, pretty much the entire time she was in the WWE. She did get a, a Divas title run. She was feuding with uh, Michelle McCool and Layla, uh, you know, a couple years ago. But, you know, I, I just never thought that the WWE fully utilized the potential of Natalia. And hopefully after, you know, this show and, you know, the, the success that comes from the show, they will, you know, they not only Natalia, but the other divas that's on the roster as well, and uh, you can all you can almost start to see that you know it's starting to happen already. You know, like the WWE is starting to shift focus, not shift focus because you know obviously you know they want to keep their main focus on you know the the male talent because that's where you know most of their audience is focused and generated from. But um, you know you can see that they are focusing on the divas a little bit more than they was before. Uh, in the last couple of weeks, you know they had several divas matches showcased on the show on the shows like Raw and SmackDown and they actually had you know gave them decent time you know time length to have a good match have a decent match or okay match so you know I'm pretty happy with that you know a couple weeks ago we got to see um you know two divas matches on one Raw which was like you know shocking but it was a good thing to me it, it was a good thing for the divas and it gives them something to work towards you know like if if, if they're gonna just work there at the company and nothing happens then like what's the point you know so now it seems like you know they, they're focusing more and the, beyond the show you know like the other divas they have there you know caitlin and aj they are actually two of my favorite divas on the roster right now and to see them feuding for the title the divas title is you know it's a good thing for me in, in my opinion also we get to see other divas now starting to you know get showcased you know like layla for example uh she basically was doing nothing for the last uh year so you know, we got to see her be showcased a little bit. And, you know, her and this AJ thing, we'll see where that goes in the future. But, you know, it's a good opportunity for these divas. 
Oh, and the last thing I want to talk about is the situation with the new diva. Uh, if you watch the show, you'll see that they have two divas there that's not on WWE television yet. They did make a brief appearance a couple weeks ago to promote the show, but they haven't been on WWE TV before that, and uh, they're not active main roster wrestlers yet. So we get we get to see some some new talent, fresh out the box. JoJo is one of them, and even Marie's the other one. Hot redhead Eva Marie. So we get to see those guys on the show. And one of the things that happened this week on the show was JoJo. We got to see a little bit of JoJo's relationship. And she was in a relationship with a guy. His name was Sebastian. And she was in a relationship with him. Uh, he was her first boyfriend. She's only 19 years old. And he came to visit her while she was there, you know, during her training. She had got a concussion. And, you know, he came to see her to check up on her. But then he just, you know, he started like whining and complaining. And he wanted her to come back, you know, home to him and, and spend more time with him instead of pursuing her dream and her goals. So she kind of had a little dilemma throughout the episode. And we got to see her talking to Natalia and even, you know, just talking about her opinions and her thoughts on the situation, which to me, I thought was just like dumb altogether because I, you know, it, it's a dream, you know, and, you know, the, if, you're, if your boyfriend, you know, especially your first boyfriend, you know, your first love you know don't understand you know that you you want to pursue your dream or can't support you while you're trying to pursue your dream then you know you gotta hit the bricks so ultimately i like the show i think the show is really good to show the backstage aspect of you know wwe like i said before and i think that the show is a good chance for them to showcase the divas and hopefully it will lead to more opportunities for the divas in the future i really like the show i'm looking forward to the next episode can't wait to see my boy tyson kid on the show so see you next time make sure you subscribe hit the like button if you like this video leave a comment down there in the, in the comment section you know promote some wrestling discussion because you know i'm always interested to hear what other wrestling fans have to say peace